The buildings just keep going up and up. The construction industry in India is growing at a rate of 10% yearly compared with the world average of 5.2%. But as we have learned, buildings in India consume a huge amount of the country's energy and have a big impact on environment and resources. So we need to figure out a way to increase the number of buildings without hurting the environment. In the earlier segment, we saw how two buildings are making a difference with their eco-friendly features. Now, let's take a look at how an entire township is working towards zero emission and zero waste. Could this be the way of the future? From up above, Naya Raipur, the new capital of Chhattisgarh, looks like any other city in the making. But the ground reality reveals the blueprint for a future city. Spread across an area of 80 square kilometers, this greenfield city is embracing nature and science with equal fervor. The whole concept is uh, to build a sustainable town. And the sustainable town includes, uh, uh, it should not only be a citizen friendly city, but also should be uh, an energy friendly city. We are very strictly using uh, methods which conserve electricity and non-conventional sources of energy. So uh, we have two types of systems. The first is like for the street lighting, we are using LED lighting with uh, focuses on high technology and like dimming at night or, alter, or after 12, alternate uh, street light will uh, go off. So such energy conservation methods are being used for street lighting. The second part is about using of non-conventional energy. Solar energy figures prominently in Naya Raipur's use of alternate sources of energy, powering its administrative offices. We are standing inside the 1.1 megawatt solar power plant. This power plant is special because uh, we are meeting all our daylight requirement for Mantrale uh, from this power plant. Only electricity is being used in Mantrale for air conditioning. In fact, we are generating almost 15 lakh units per annum, which is almost uh, 1 lakh, so 1.2 lakh units per month from this power plant. This is the first captive power plant of this magnitude in the country. Solar energy was thought of because Chhattisgarh is abundant in sun almost 11 months a year. We have very good sun and therefore solar plant was thought of. This will reduce the carbon footprint and we will uh, not be using the uh, fossil fuel also, that was another thing. Technology joins hands with conservation in Naya Raipur, which houses 55 water bodies. We are standing on the top of the wash water tank in the water treatment plant facility for Naya Raipur. This is Pacheda where we are putting up 52 MLD water treatment plant. Water is being brought from River Nahanadi, which is 21 kilometers from here. There is an intake well from where water is pumped to this site. It comes, the water is taken all the way from here to the cascade aerator, then dosing, and then clarifloculators, and then it comes to the filter beds, and then to the clear water. This is a chemical house, and that is the uh, pump house where the clear water is pumped to the overhead reservoir. From this elevated storage reservoir, water is under gravity. Uh, it flows to 29 underground wells within the city. And then the water supply is made to various sectors. We are not allowing any underground water to be tapped. And therefore, boring of wells is banned in Nayarayapur. With a 27% green area, administrative and residential sectors, amenities for education, non-motorized transport systems, underground channels of communication and transmission, this satellite city is on its way for setting new benchmarks. We now want a city with zero tolerance on, you know, lesser quality. We want quality, 100% quality. 
we want ecology 100% you know facility for ecology we see we have the city which which we can cycle around we are going to use brts which is going to happen in another year which will have lesser emission we will use battery operated and electricity operated buses or small carts or transport facilities within the city so that as far as transportation is concerned we will be using those technology the best technology that is available for lesser carbon emission second aspect is that we are not going to invite any such investment on industry that will emit carbon green in naya raipur acquires a new shade with most of its buildings being constructed with eco friendly material when you look at the planning part of it even the orientation of building should be such wherein you use the natural light maximum similarly the water uh, should be conserved water should be reused no water should be discharged we are going in for rain water harvesting it's a mandate in the city every building which is being constructed should have rain water harvesting facility beyond that even the material which is being used for construction is eco friendly we are using fly ash bricks that is one of the part of the green building wherein you minimal hinder with the uh, resources so all the bricks we are using are fly ash bricks we fortunately we have a mix of black soil and the hard soil murum soil which is non arable since our 26% of the area is green whatever black soil we are removing the top soil we are reusing for having our greens while as far as uh, the brown this uh, murum soil or the hard soil is concerned it's very good for construction so that itself is very useful With a stress on zero carbon footprint, Naya Raipur is not only setting a precedent for other cities, but is also on a quest for sustainable living. An IT tech park, a skyscraper, and an entire township. They might just seem like ordinary concrete structures, but they are a glimpse of a future. A future that revolves around going green and a future that india cannot escape the green features of these buildings allow them to consume less energy which helps them in minimizing their carbon footprint a goal that india needs to put into practice soon if you consider yourself an innovator and have an innovation that can have a positive impact on the lives of billions of indians do write into us at powerofshunya13 at timesgroup.com until next week It's me Anupam Kher saying goodbye keep watching and stay inspired Next week on the power of shunya we take a look at an innovator who bets big on wind energy for a lower carbon footprint A company that is tapping solar energy for zero power shortage and a technology that uses biomass to achieve zero dependency on fossil fuel.